Hello everyone, this is Harshit. So let us continue with our uh, previous session, so design of uh, uh, tension members. In the previous session, uh, we, have, we have solved one design examples of finding the design strength of tension members. So in this um, session, let us continue with the uh, design examples. So uh, solve this uh, problem. So determine the design tensile strength of a roof truss. Uh, roof truss diagonal of uh, size 100 into 75 into 10 mm connected to the gusset plate uh, as shown in figure. Uh, so here the angle is given in the previous uh, problem of plate was connected here the angle is connected to a gusset plate. Um, if the yield strength and the ultimate strength of the steel used is to 50 MPa and for 10 MPa, three bolts are used for bolted connections. Uh, so uh, there are three cases so in first case 20 mm diameter bolts in one row along the length uh, of uh, long along the length of long leg and short leg is kept uh, outstanding here the long leg that is 100 mm is connected to the gusset plate in the second uh, case uh, 20 mm diameter bolts in one row along the length of the shorter leg uh, and the long leg is a uh, long leg is connected uh, it is kept outstanding so in this short leg is connected to the gusset plate that is 75 mm is connected last one is 5 mm fillet weld and the effective length of um, weld is 200 mm uh, the first two cases is a bolted connection and the third one is a weld connection okay so let us see this first case uh, uh, this is a gusset plate and 100 mm what 100 mm leg is connected uh, to the gusset plate and second case uh, for the 75 mm uh, leg and the third case um, here uh, welded connection 5 mm fillet weld is connected so here I, uh, we have taken 100 mm leg is connected to the gusset plate so next let us go for the solution given uh, fu is uh, 410 mpa and fy is uh, 250 mpa so diameter of bolt is uh, 20 mm and size of hole it will be plus 2 mm that is uh, 22 mm size of weld is uh, 5 mm and uh, gamma m0 is 1.1 and gamma m1 is 1.25 that is you can take it from the steel table so let us see the first case bolted connection when the short uh, short leg is uh, kept outstanding when the short leg is kept outstanding that is uh, long leg is connected that is 100 mm is connected okay they have given three number of bolts are used for the connection so if you see the connection this is the side view. if you see the connection here exactly so this it, it will look like this that is 100 mm will be here and this one is the outstanding leg that you can't see here you can see only the thickness and this one is the gusset plate so uh, if you you don't know the uh, pitch or ed edge distance so take the edge distance as 1.5 into d0 so it will be almost 33 mm you can go with 40 mm and pitch as 2.5 into d so you can take it as 50 mm in uh, case of uh, chain bolting the design strength of plate uh, will be the least of these three which i have explained in the last session that is yield of gross section, net section, that is strength at yield of gross section, strength at the net uh, section rupture and strength uh, at the block shear strength. Uh, so first one, the design strength due to yielding at the yielding of gross section, that is TDG will be equal to AG into FR by gamma M0. Uh, from page number 32, class 6.2, we will get that. Uh, here AG, uh, AG is you will get from the steel table uh, that is AG will be equal to one for uh, IS 100 into 7, ISC 100 into 75 into 10 mm for that angle AG will be 1650 mm square and FY how you know and gamma m not you, know, uh, you will be already knowing it so the TDG becomes 375 kilo Newton so next one design strength due to the rupture of critical section that is TD TDN will be equal to 0.9 ANC FU divided by gamma M1 plus the beta 
ஏஜிஓ எஃப்ஐ இன்டு காமா எம் நாட் இந்த த ப்ரீவியஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் வி ஹாவ் சால்வ்ட் எஸ் இட்ஸ் அ பிளேட் ஸோ ஹியர் இட் வில் பி த ஆங்கிள் ஸோ இட் திஸ் ஃபார்ம்லா வில் பி வேரிங் ஹியர் டிடிஎன் இஸ் பாயிண்ட் நைன் ஏஎன்சி எஃப்யூ டிவைட் பை காமா எம் ஒன் ப்ளஸ் பீட்டா ஏஜிஓ எஃப்ஐ டிவைட் பை காமா எம் நாட் தேர் ஏஎன்சி வில் பி த நெட் ஏரியா ஆஃப் த கனெக்டட் லெக் ஹியர் கனெக்டட் லெக் இஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் எம்எம் ஸோ த நெட் ஏரியா பிகம்ஸ் ஏஎன்சி ஹண்ட்ரட் மைனஸ் டென் பை டூ minus 22 that is uh, if you see this figure here in this uh, this is a connected like 100 mm so you need to take till the center of this one here not exactly to the end okay so 100 minus the thickness of this this part is uh, uh, the thickness of that uh, what is 10 mm so 10 by 2 you will get to the center of this one so 100 minus 10 by 2 since it is a net area you need to reduce the hole here the hole that is 22 mm diameter uh, of the the size of the hole so total 100 minus this spacing that is 10 by 2 since you are taking to the center of that like okay 10 by 2 minus 22 will be that length into the thickness of the plate that is 10 mm into 10 mm you will get 730 okay next one agvo that is gross area of the outstanding leg again it is a area of the outstanding leg this area okay again here you need to take till the center of this one center of this 100 mm leg okay so total is 75 75 minus 10 by 2 the thickness of this leg is 10 so 10 by 2 will be to the center okay 75 minus 10 by 2 so that is 75 minus 10 by 2 into thickness of that plate it is 700 mm so by substituting Uh, okay next one that uh, next uh, calculate the beta beta is 1.4 minus 0.076 into w by 2 fu divided by fy sorry fy divided by fu bs by lc it should be greater than this uh, lesser than this value and should be greater than this one so here what is w and what is t and what is bs and what is lc okay so if you see w w is the outstanding leg always so this one that is 75 mm w directly it is given in the code and t is the thickness uh, bs is the shear leg uh, width that is from this point to this point this length okay so what is w1 here so w1 will be for uh, this is 100 mm leg connected to the plate so for this one the width, uh, length the distance from this point okay so from this root to the center of the bolt that is w1 from sp6 uh, first one that is uh, 1964 from uh, page number 168 it seems okay from that you will get this value okay mm, so from that i uh, will get for uh, 100 mm plate if uh, that is a value uh, in the uh, code will be there for uh, two cases one is for double bolting and one is for the single bolting here the case is single bolting so w1 for 100 mm will get it as 60 mm will be the w1 okay it is a position of where the bolt you need to be placed so bs becomes w is 75 mm plus W1 is 60 mm minus T is 10 mm. So by substituting the value, you'll get you'll be getting W. Uh, so BS is 125 mm. Okay. Next one LC. It is the length from the uh, outermost bolts. That is only three bolts are there. So the two spacing. So LC becomes two into 50 mm is the pitch. So two into 50 LC becomes 100 mm. by substituting those all the values beta becomes 0.97 it should be lesser than fu into gamma m not uh, divided by fy into gamma 
m f i into gamma m1 okay so we can see here from this value f into gamma m0 it, it should be lesser by substituting that it will be 1.44 and uh, obtained value is 0.97 anyhow it, it satisfies that, that case and uh, it should be greater than 0.7 anyhow it also satisfies this one now substitute all the uh, all the values so you know you, you get tdn will becomes 369.81 kilo newton So next third one is the block shear strength. When you see the block shear strength of an angle, the failure, the plane will be like this. It will not go towards here. It will go to the nearer edge. Okay. Since here the area is more here, the strength will be more here. So it will move towards that end. Uh, so the this will be the shear plane and this will be the tension plane. If you see LVG here, uh, it becomes 50 plus 50 so first uh, let us see okay lvg that is the gross area of the shear plane gross length the lvg is 50 plus 50 plus 40 mm okay so total it is 140 mm if you see lvn the net area net area becomes total gross area minus the number of bolts in that plane that is in this case there are three bolts but you need to take one full bolt two full bolt and the third one you should take the only the half of bolt because the shear plane goes only to the center of the last bolt okay so becomes total length is 140 mm that is 50 plus 50 plus 40 mm minus not three it should be 2.5 it should be 2.5 1 2 and 2.5 2.5 into 22 so it is 85 mm when you see the te uh, tension uh, plane ltg that is it becomes total is edge distance is 40 mm but uh, already it has been calculated uh, sorry not uh, sorry uh, it is not edge distance so the, this one is um, already you know w1 as a 60 mm okay so the remaining is 40 mm there the remaining is 40 mm uh, next uh, remaining is 40 mm uh, here uh, so the TT, TDG becomes 40 mm and TTN that is the net area of the net length that is total is 40 mm minus 0.5 of 22 not complete 22 one bolt you not need not to take because only till the center it will the shear plane will come so only 0.5 that is middle of the uh, that hole so 0.5 of 22 it becomes 25 mm now the area becomes avg is that length into thickness so that is one uh, four a thousand four hundred avn is 85 that is lvn into thickness 850 atg becomes ltg into 10 that is 400 m atn is 29 into 10 that is 290 mm 29 is ltn Okay, now we need to substitute for two formulas TDB1 and TDB2. You will get 269 for TDB1 and 235 for TDB2. So the minimum is 235 that is the block shear strength. Minimum of these two will become the block shear strength TDB that is 235. And uh, by uh, for uh, getting the design strength minimum of those three that is gross uh, shear strength at the gross uh, yielding of gross section that is 375 and uh, yielding uh, net area rupture that is 369 and the block shear strength that is two, uh, 235 minimum is 235 so the design tensile strength becomes 235.7 kilo newton so this is end of that case when you go for the second case Mm, here 75 mm is same types but 75 mm is connected the shorter leg is connected to the gusset plate the out, longer leg is outstanding so here the difference is the w1 will be varying w, for 75 mm w1 becomes 40 mm okay uh, and w is 100 mm in that problem w was 75 mm and w1 was 60 mm but here w1 is 40 mm from sp6 will be getting this value okay 
so the next uh, everything will be same the calculation is same let us go for the third case that is 5 mm fillet weld uh, and the effective length of weld is 200 mm so uh, TDG and how it is same it does not vary with respect to that of welded or uh, bolted connection because it's a gross yielding so the area gross area is same next one uh, critical uh, the rupture here connected ANC as well as uh, uh, here uh, uh, the for ANC <laughs> just need to solve is ANC becomes 100 minus 10 by 2 that is same as that of in the first case itself but no, uh, no bolt holes here so no reduction of the bolt holes into directly into 10 mm so 950 and AGO anyhow, anyhow 75 minus 10 by 2 into 10 that is you will be taking to the center center okay that is 100 minus 10 this is 10 mm 10 by 2 okay the same type uh, when you see regarding beta beta is 1.4 minus 0 0.076 w is 75 mm divided by 10 250 divided by 410 and uh, 75 mm uh, is um, bs becomes uh, 75 mm in the bed that is in the in case of um, welded connection bs will be directly taking as w in case of uh, bolted connection bs was equal to w plus w1 minus t but here no bolt is here so directly you need to you will be taking till the connection what is welded connection from the outer edge that is 75 mm is w okay next regarding lc lc will be equal to the effective length of the weld that is 200 mm uh, okay in the voltage connection you will be taking the length from the outermost bolt but here you need to just take the effective length of the weld by substituting all the values you will be getting 1.26 it is less than this value so it is that is 1.44 it is less than that one it satisfies again it is greater than 0.7 again it also satisfies that one by substituting all the remaining values you will get TDN equal to 480.89 kilo newton next if you go for the block shear strength he that here no net area since it is a bolted connection no reduction of holes here so avg and avn is same and atg and atn is same here so it is 2 into 200 that is avg that is shear plane uh, since uh, if you see okay uh, see here so if this is the connection if this is a connection so here the welding is done here the welding is done okay so if the uh, failure occurs the complete plate remaining is like this so total this much area will be uh, cut off okay it, it will get cut off here this much this much area will be remaining so the uh, so the shear plane length will be this much that effective um, effective length is this one shear plane length is this one that is effective length of weld that is 200 mm so 2 into 200 you will get 2 uh, okay uh, 2 into 200 into 10 mm fine next one the shear plane is this one so that is tdg or t uh, sorry tension plane tdg or td uh, yeah sorry atg or atn that is 100 into 10 you will get uh, this is uh, 100 mm since the this this one is 100 mm uh, the leg size is uh, length is 100 mm so total uh, it becomes 100 into thickness of the plate is uh, 10 mm so it is 1000 okay now substituting all the values you'll be getting tdb is uh, 1 is a, uh, 820 and 2 is uh, 9, uh, 909 so minimum is this one so tdb is 820 so the minimum of those three 
that is uh, yielding of cross section at the yielding of cross section at the net area rupture and at block shear strain block shear so minimum is yielding of cross section it will be it will be the design tensile strength of the angle of the connection that is 375 mm okay in uh, if uh, the case is in the staggered connection here the you will be uh, you have seen only the chain connection in case of staggered connection that is uh, uh, that is in case of like the connection of bolt is somewhat staggered means okay so the here the difference will be just you need to uh, see the strength only from the minimum of uh, first one yielding of cross section and the net area rupture no need of go to the block shear strength only the minimum of those two will be the design strength and the difference is uh, the calculation of the yielding of uh, gross area that is same no changes in that but in case of net area rupture uh, the difference is calculation of ANC or uh, connection area of the connected leg okay now the net area will be same because uh, anyhow it is uh, b minus uh, it is same b minus b naught okay sorry uh, b minus n into d naught plus one extra is there that is summation of, uh, of uh, summation of uh, ps square divided by 4g that is this where the line uh, where the uh, failure will take place that line you need to assume and you should calculate the problem okay only that difference and the rest everything will be same okay so till now you will be cal you have calculated uh, you have seen only the calculation of design uh, tensile strength okay here uh, only uh, the already the uh, size of the angle or uh, the con regarding the details of the connection were already specified in the question but uh, in case of designing of tensile member uh, the design procedure will be like this okay the following uh, design procedure you need to uh, adopt the first uh, the load what it has to take will be specified in the question okay so you need to take TD, uh, AG, you will be already knowing AG, uh, sorry, TU, that is cross area formula equal to TU equal to uh, AG into D, uh, AG into FI divided by gamma M0, okay. By rearranging that, AG becomes, AG will be equal to TU into 1.1 divided by FU. Here, TU, you need to take it as a factored tensile load which is given in the question you, to, you need to take that value by substituting value you will get ag after getting this value you need to change the gross area uh, increase the gross area by 25 to 40 percent okay gross area you need to increase and from that gross area ag you will be getting uh, from uh, if this if that is an angle you need to take a uh, steel table from steel table you need to select an uh, angle such a way that the uh, area of the angle should be almost equal to the obtained AG almost nearby it should be greater than the obtained almost somewhat greater than that of the obtained AG okay next determine the number of bolts or the welded uh, uh, welding uh, that required and uh, arrange that next one uh, the step is uh, calculating finding the strength or uh, checking uh, you should check the uh, strength of the connection check the connection first connection will be the strength of uh, uh, strength in the yielding of gross section rupture in critical section last one is block shear strength the strength the force uh, uh, the strength should be always greater than the force it has to take okay uh, next one let us see uh, Okay. If uh, any slenderness ratio, you need to uh, check for the slenderness ratio means uh, you should uh, see the value in the table number 3, uh, page number 20, uh, you need to check the value. The, if the length, they uh, will uh, give the length of the connection, length divided by uh, radius of uh, gyration that is you will be getting from the uh, steel table itself for uh, one specified uh, angle you will be having uh, four uh, radius of gyrations minimum value you should be 
taking here. Uh, you should take here. Um, uh, you will be taking. So the length divided by radius of gyration, you will be getting the slenderness ratio. That ratio, that value should be lesser than that of it has given in the table number three. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, let us uh, see one uh, design example here. Okay. So design a single angle sec uh, section. For a tension member of a roof truss to carry a factor tensile load of 225 kilonewton, use 20. So load is already specified. Next, use 20 mm shock weld of grade 4.6 for the connection. Let us continue the problem. So, so uh, first one you need to calculate the AG. AG equal to from uh, uh, yield strength gross area uh, yield strength formula. Uh, just rearranging you will get ag equal to tu divided by f5 divided by gamma m0 tu you need to take it as a load that is 225 already it is factored so 225 and substituting all the values 225 kilonewton so into 1000 uh, divided by 250 divided by 1.1 area will be 990 mm square just you need to increase 25 to 40 percent so i will be increasing here 30 percent so into 1.3 into 1.3 uh, into one uh, 1.3 you should do that is 30 percent you will be increasing so area becomes 1287 mm mm square ag so the area now you need to select an angle such a way that the area should be almost greater than this one should be not much greater just greater than that one you just you need to see all the values there so I'll be take, uh, taking the uh, section as 100 into 75 into 8 mm. It, its area is 1336. So it is almost greater than the obtained required area. Okay. Next, uh, let us go with the calculation of number of bolts to be required. D is 20 mm and D naught is 22 mm. So just assume that the thickness of gusset plate is uh, 10 mm. So the shear strength calculation VDSB equal to f u divided by root 3 just consider thread in the shear plane uh, so this uh, first value n s into a s b that is shear plane becomes 0 n n into a n b divided by gamma m b gamma m b is 1.25 uh, n n is here only a single angle so one shear plane will be uh, you will be getting here so 1 n n is 1 and a n b is by uh, area into a, uh, the shank area into 0.78 that is pi by 4 into 20 square into 0.78 for okay so you will get uh, it is 45.27 next if you see here uh, uh, for the bearing shear strength uh, you need to calculate edge distance and uh, um, pitch distance you will be taking as 40 and uh, 60 mm by calculation so kb the minimum kb by substituting all this value minimum kb is uh, 0 0.606 um, next one by substituting all the values here f u is the minimum value you need to take that is 400 mm uh, so by substituting all the values you will get uh, this one as uh, vdpb is 77 so the bolt value is minimum of the shear strength and the bearing strength that is 45.27 kilo newton or 45,272 newton okay so the number of bolts will be equal to the force to be transferred divided by the bolt value so the number of bolts will be you will be getting as 4.9 so you can take it as five numbers of bolts to be used for the connection and here since it is 100 mm uh, leg which will be will be taking as for the connection so w1 will be 60 mm that is from sb6 okay you'll be getting that value just arrange the bolts like this so the pitch is 60 mm 60 60 and the edge distance is 40 mm okay now calculate the uh, check for the design first check will be the strength against yielding that is tdg is ag into f i by gamma m not ag is 1336 the area of that angle into 250 by 1.1 that is 303.636 or 303 kilo newton you will be getting it should be greater than 225 or else you need to change the angle area should be greater so it satisfies here it is greater than 225 so here it is safe fine if you go for the next one strength of plate in rupture now here a and c that is area of the connected leg uh, so total length is 100 mm 100 minus till the middle here you need to take 
this is 75 mm right so 100 is total till the edge is 100 mm 100 minus this one is 8 mm this one 8 mm thickness so 8 uh, middle means 8 by 2 100 minus 8 by 2 minus the volt area that is 20, uh, 22 here that is 100 minus 22 minus 8 by 2 into thickness of the angle okay thickness of the leg you will get 592 mm square AGO means this is a uh, outstanding low, a gross area of the outstanding uh, length is 75 mm minus what I told till the center you need to take 75 minus 8 by 2 this is thickness is 8 mm minus 8 by 2 into the thickness of the leg this leg that is 8 mm we will get 568 mm square now uh, beta becomes uh, here in the beta formula w is outstanding leg that is 75 mm and w1 uh, is 60 mm for 100 mm leg from sp6 okay again uh, that you will be getting there uh, by substituting this one and bs bs is bs is uh, w plus w1 minus t 75 plus 60 w is the outstanding leg length that is leg size w is 75 mm and this one w1 is 60 total bs is from here to here uh, minus t so 127 t is thickness of the leg that is 128 mm so total bs is 127 and LC is from center to center uh, sorry from out, outermost board so that is 1 2 3 4 spacing so 4 into 60 mm you will get uh, 240 mm so by you will be having all the values by substituting you will get beta is 1.17 so it is lesser than 1.44 and greater than 0.7 so it satisfy those uh, cases conditions now substituting all the values you will get uh, TDN is 325 kilo newton it is greater than 225 that is a force to be transferred so it satis again it satisfies that it is okay there next if you see the strength against the block shear now the third uh, check so here this will be uh, this will be the case here okay now uh, if you see here this is the shear plane and this is the tension uh, tension plane so in the shear plane LVG that is the gross area gross area is 40 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60 and plus 60 so a total it is 280 mm and if you see the net area that is total minus number of bolts here um, number of holes okay that is till the center of the last sorry center of the last hole you need to take here that is 40 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60 that is total is 280 minus 1 2 3 4 and 4.5 not 5 last bolt only till the center you need to take so 4.5 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4.5 into 22 mm. So it becomes 181. Next one TDG. TDG is equal to uh, that is uh, so here W1 what you are calculate that was 60 mm. So total is 100 mm. So remaining is here this uh, tension plane length will be 40 mm TDG and uh, if you see the uh, net area here this one net area so total is 40 mm minus one bolt is there but you need to take only to the center so 0.5 of 22 you should take here that is 29 mm again so now uh, substituting all this value you will get avg that is lvg into 8 mm this value and avn that is lvn into 8 mm that is thickness of the angle 8 is thickness and ATG is LTG into four, uh, 8 mm, ATN is LTN into 8 mm. By substituting all this value, you will get the areas there. Next one, by substituting uh, now, uh, substitute those AVG, uh, AVN, ATG, and ATN to the uh, two formulas that is TDB1 and TDB2. You will get TDB1 as 362 and uh, TDB2 as 319. So the uh, block shear strength is 319 the minimum of these two block TDB is 319 so this T, uh, TDB is greater than the force to be transferred so it satisfies the condition hence it is the design is safe
so all the three check is done here so the design is safe for all the three cases okay so this is the end of that problem uh, let us end up the session here in the next uh, next session uh, let us see one more uh, problems and let us uh, see what is lug angle to used in the tension members or in the connection okay so thank you if you uh, have any doubts here you can uh, go through, uh, you can come uh, put in the comment section and um, some uh, links i have uploaded uh, uh, in the previous video in the description box i will upload here also uh, in that uh, links uh, you can see the introduction of all that the factors affecting the strength of the tension member some that uh, some videos regarding that uh, that is uh, the video from the nptl uh, dl or uh, video based uh, links that one mm, so you can go through those videos so you can understand exactly what is the uh, that uh, introduction completely regarding the tension member details of that okay so i'll end up the session here thank you